th this piece here, the SPC can sit in the middle of the traffic. So imagine calls come in here from a telecom provider, Verizon, AT&T, whoever. And the SPC can look at the telephone numbers involved and the location and make a decision on what that is. So if it's a fax machine, for instance, and somebody asks, how do I connect an old fax machine, right? right? If the fax machine number is, I don't know, 555-1000, and that call comes in, the SPC looks and says, oh, 555-1000, oh, that's a fax machine. It'll peel it off and teams will never even see it, right? Um, the same way, let's say this elevator phone over here dials, it'll dial out and get access to a trunk and the SPC will give it access to a, a, a predetermined trunk from Verizon or AT&T. So you can place an emergency call and tell people you're stuck in the elevator, right? So, and then if you have a scenario where a, a call needs to go to both, well, the SPC could get a, like a main number and actually have it ring both devices concurrently. There are, there are some limitations to that simultaneous ring. And we talked about that a little earlier. If, if somebody places a call teams to teams, the SPC is not going to know about it, right? There's, not, there's nothing we can do to get in the middle of that call path, right? right? So in that instance, um, you know, we might have to do something funny like uh, manipulate a dial plan or tell users, hey, if you want to talk to someone on the old PBX, you have to dial an eight first to talk to someone. That's not ideal, but those are the kind of interim steps that sometimes you have to put in place in order to manage your migration uh, in the right way. But there are, there are a number of scenarios where we can accommodate legacy analog, legacy SIP, uh, you know, those deck phones that are SIP based, we can, we can support them even if they're not certified with Teams if they come in here into the SBC. And uh, again, you know, that's hardware software. It, it, it just depends on the environment. And we have some as a service tools in our Ribbon Connect solution that uh, are actually pretty elegant in the way that we can connect the dots between a, a legacy PBX and, uh, and Teams.